Hey everybody, welcome back to Fawin Channel as me and Micro try to figure out the next case on Aviary Attorney. It is currently January 30th, a Sunday. Yes, and uh, so we're looking around for rebels. We have yet to actually stumble on a case. So but... we have multiple things we're doing. We're looking around for rebels. We're somehow paying back the good doctor who gave us that specialized... Well, I mean, that's what we're going to do right now is going to go back to um, him. Are we going to go back to him right now? I think that's what we or should. Or do we want to hold on to it for a little while? Uh, that's actually a pretty good idea. And then on top of it, we have Coco Rico up our booties. Well, not and yet. And Vol Volarity, sorry. Yeah, they're, they're suspicious of us. Well, Volarity is. Coco Rico, I think, could give a damn. So where do you think we should go, then? I'm a big fan. We can either go to the Bibliothèque and learn more about the July of the Revolution. We could go to the Caillou Canard Joyeux. What's that? Oh, no, I, I'm never going back there. We go to r &M Associates. The wolf owes us. Oh, he might know of some leads. Yep. Yeah, let's go there. That sounds like a smart mm -hmm. idea. Alrighty. Ooh, look at him. Oh, he looks cool. Well, well, this is most unexpected. Monsieur Falcon, Monsieur Sparrowson. I believe this is our first time meeting without disguises or pretense, as it were. Oh, but first things first. Mousy, would you kindly fetch our guests some tea? Oh, of course, Monsieur Volpez, of course. Monsieur, oh, that's you. Monsieur, what sort of tea would you like? Chamomile? Darjeeling, maybe? I totally read that as chlamydia. Don't ask why. Wow. <laughs> um, chamomile. Chamomile. Sounds like chameleon. I like it. Or chlamydia, apparently. Chlamydia sounds good to me. Thanks, Mousy. <laughs> sure, I could go for chamomile, too. Okay, what pot of chamomile coming right up? Let's get down to business. What is it that you two came here for? We have a couple of questions. Have you any rumors of an uprising? Have you heard of croquet? Should we just cut to the chase? Yeah. Should we just no, cut to the chase? No, start with the up uprising. Eh. I, I haven't I... seared you wrong yet, Fawa. Not today. Okay. Mr. Vopez, have you heard any rumors of an uprising? Of course, these days a man can't walk into a tavern without hearing See? angry men <laughs> whispering about violence and revolt. But that's like, like normal shit, right? I dare say that Paris may find itself in the midst of yet another revolution before the end of winter. Well, what can you tell us about these dissenters, specifically? Do you know where they are meeting? I'm afraid I only know what you can read in the papers, monsieur. I know anti-government protesters were meeting out in the open until the government clamped down on a large public banquets. With the... Oh, wait, yeah, with the banquets gone, who knows where the dissidenters went? I see. Perhaps it can assist you with something else? Croque Monsieur. Have you ever heard of a person called the Croque Monsieur? And no, we aren't talking about the sandwich, unfortunately. The Croque Monsieur... Are you referring to the black market salesman, the one who claims to be able to procure anything no matter how illegal? Yes, that sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. Do you know him? Me? Personally? No, monsieur. I just know of his vile reputation. I see. Then do you have any idea where we can find him? Hmm. hmm. Meeting the croquet monsieur face to face is not easy. The man doesn't make himself known to just anybody, after all. <gasps> the Prince of Spain will make his return. <laughs> Probably. I know. I should do a little investigative work of my own. Come back in three days and I'll tell you where and when you can find the croquet, monsieur. That's an enormous hope. Thank you so much, monsieur Volpez. Of course, there is a price. Price? It's just a small fee, a mere 30 francs. Hey, we saved your derriere over that Prince Juan business. He has the monies. Is there any way to show your gratitude? Monsieur Vopais, you must understand that this is no personal errand. We are investigating on behalf of king and country. I'm sure your intentions are noble, Monsieur Falcon, but I am running a business here. Fox has to eat. Mm. Thirty francs, and I guarantee I will find you the croquet, Monsieur. That's my final offer. What do you say? I say take it. Yeah, we're running through our money too quickly, though. I have a feeling if we're waiting too long, um, someone might have been dead. We'll take maybe, it. I don't, I don't know if I agree with it, Maybe though. even the croquet monsieur, for all we know. But that's exactly what we want. We want him dead. We want to get information from him, right? I don't know. Just... Let's just do it. We'll take it. Here you go, monsieur. Very good. As I promised, return in three days or later, and I will tell you where the croquet monsieur can be found. Rest assured that I will undertake my end of the bargain with care and diligence. I expect nothing less. Thank you, monsieur Volpez. 
It is my pleasure. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Where is my tea? I was just about to say the same thing. That's all. Have a pleasant day, Monsieur Fulpes. As to you, Messieurs. Is Mousy gonna show up? The tea's ready, Monsieur Volpez. It's ready. I'm afraid you're too slow, Mousy. Oh, bother. <laughs> They're cute. They're adorable. So, so three days, so... Day one. Um, so that's what, the 33rd? Um, uh, at the second or third, yeah. I think it's the 33rd. The it's the 33rd. Three, yeah, 33rd. Or, what am I doing? I don't know what you're doing, <laughs> Fallen. I have so no idea. So that's what, February 2nd? Yes, the 2nd. Yeah. Like I said, huh? I don't... Like that, Fallen? I don't calendar too well. I don't think you calendar I, at all. I can't calendar. He calendars none whatsoever. Not at all. Okay, so where should we go? I like the tavern idea. Ugh. Just don't pay the bull that no, not any money. It's it's always a waste of time. No, just go. It is always a waste of time. Do you want, me, want us to switch seats and I'll do it? Fine. No, no. Okay then, Mr. Fallwin, go to the go to the joy, Le Canard Joyeux. He practically told us to go to a cavern. Uh, a tavern. No, he's saying you kind of hear that stuff every day. At so a tavern. Like, Why so, would he say tavern? Because that's where people used to congregate back then. It's like going to a bar. Go to the tavern. Ugh. Okay, but. Okay. But if it leads to nothing but a waste of time, you don't get to pick anymore for at least That's two a lie. for at least two more episodes. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. One episode. Not including this one. No deal. So just the next episode. You get you don't get to pick. Nope. Then I guess we'll go someplace else. Okay. I'm telling you that's where all the information is. Okay. So, deal. Nope, I'm not. I don't like this deal. Uh, it sounds like a deal to me. <laughs> no, well, this is not a deal, sir. No verbal agreement. We have it on tape. No, no drinking, bad falcon. Calm down, Sparrowson. I'm just here for information. That runs to the first place people go to moan about the government. Therefore, they are perfect rebel breeding grounds. Oh, that makes sense. Odds, you two. What will it be today? Wine or beer? A phrase is questions for now, Madame Quinnell. They're looking for a man called the. Croc Monsieur, have you seen him? Hmm. No, that name doesn't sound familiar at all. Okay, have you heard of any patrons bad in the government? Of course, this is a tavern, hun. If people couldn't come here to grope and talk politics, where else would they go? That's true, but has anyone stood out? Well. There's one asshole who, like, stiffed me for a tip. <laughs> Just between you and me, the pair on the drinking floor have been acting very shifty. I'm not saying they are or they aren't rebels, but they're doing far much talking. And not enough drinking, if you know what I mean. I bet you it's the two roosters. Or the... Oh. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was the two roosters. But they meet outside. I think I do. Thank you, madam. Let's see where to go. Let's go to the drinking room. Yep. Oh, it's see? these guys! Remember, I told you. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Uh, I think you're a Piero. And that's when the mademoiselle told me to put the order in. No idea where she's going to keep them, though. Piero, you know that she hates being called Mademoiselle. You're going to get stuck with guard duty again. Is he a soldier? Are these soldiers? I look no look at the thingies. I think he's a soldier. I think he's an officer. Looks like something Dr. Watson wears when he went on that date with that one girl in that one movie. What are you talking about? The one with Iron Man in it. Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, that guy. Oh, that's wow. What, that's what Watson wore on the oh. date. And he had the thingy. Oh, right you are. The madame it is then. Well, wait, she ain't married, is she? So why do we have to call her madame? Why don't you ask her yourself? No way, she would straight up eat me alive if I asked that directly. No wonder if it's the cat lady. Wait, hush up, do you smell that? It smells like... Falcon. Eavesdroppers. Can I help you, messieurs? What were you talking about? I'm just curious. What were you two just talking about before, before we rudely interrupted? Hmm. That's me. Hmm. hmm. Well, I would like to include you in our conversation, but to be perfectly honest, I don't think there's that's any of your business. Oh. It's our business. We want to join the rebels. That sounds stupid. It sounds like it's going to get us locked up. I think so, too. Especially since they're soldiers. Yeah, they're guards. They're talking about a madam. You're right. It's none of our business. So suppose it's not our business. I apologize for asking, sir. Quite all right. No harm done. Yep. Monsieur, have you ever heard of a man called... Falcon, wait. 
be slight chance these guys may be rebels, right? So if we ask directly, they might be scared off. Good point. I'll try to keep it subtle. Yeah, right. Where'd you get that swanky hat? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. This yours. Where did you get that swanky hat? Mm. Hmm. This old thing. Just a regular cap I bought from. Oh man, someone finally noticed me awesome hat. I've waited for years for someone to notice it. He actually does have a pretty cool hat. It's like a big Mad Hatter hat. Look at this thing. Who's a pretty Polly? You are. I'm the prettiest Polly. Yes, you are. Prettiest princess in all the land. Anyways, I bought it from a Mademoiselle Lizot. I think the shop was called Rue's Odds and Ends or some such. Fantastic, thank you, messieurs. Nice, Falcon. Now you can buy a swanky hat, too. But we're no closer to uncovering the mystery of the croque monsieur. Oh, right. Where'd you get that rifle? Just chatting him up. Monsieur, I see you're carrying a rifle. Evidently. Who manufactured it? Ah, oh, good question. See most hunters around here are carrying old French chevaliers. Charles. Charles. But this beauty is something special. See, it's American from the Springfield Armory, model 1812. Percussion lock firing mechanism. American musket, you say? That's certainly quite special. Must have been hard to procure. It's true that you can't buy guns of this quality from standard street sellers, but if you know the right people... Please, go on. Well... Hmm. Okay, listen carefully. You didn't hear it from me, but to meet the croquet monsieur... Ah! Croque monsieur? Croquet. That's fun. That's a that's an actual game. Actually, it'd be foolish for me to explain in public. It'd be easier to, if you just take this. Ah. Book of Judges? What is this? Some sort of law book? The book says Jack is not important. Just take it. Oh, I see. It's THE Book of Judges from the Bible. Old Testament stories of God smiting people and stuff. I appreciate the gift, monsieur, but I'm not religious. You're such an idiot. Nor am I. Then why are you... Just... <laughs> just take it, you idiot! <laughs> Bible books are what we use to pass around them in code phrases, don't we? Code phrases? Piero, please. I'm trying to be low-key, and I can't do that if you're mouthing off with that big old big of yours. All right, you are. Try to forget what my friend said. Just a little searching of the contents of that good book. You should be able to get what you desire. Is, is that a religious metaphor? No, messieurs, I'm being very literal. Perhaps. Book of Judges has been added to your evidence for... Oh. Well, thank you very much for the gift, monsieur. To be honest, I have no idea how this is supposed to lead me to our guns. You're such an idiot. Oh. I see. Well, I hear that there's an excellent friar who performs Bible readings at Notre Dame Cathedral. Perhaps if you show the man your new book, he'll be able to find you a particularly spiritual pack uh, passage. Blah, blah. Are you sure this isn't all a religious metaphor? I feel like you're trying to convert me. I show you I'm as secular as they come, monsieur. Fire at Notre Dame Cathedral. Thank you, monsieur. I'll make a note. Was there something else you wanted? No. No. Told ya. Thank you for your assistance, messieurs. It's nothing. Get out of here already. Hmm. You two seem like decent fellows. Shouldn't get involved in this rebellious business. Just do whatever you need to do with Coquet, okay, monsieur, and get out of Paris. That's what a smart person would do. I appreciate the advice, monsieur. You should have took the bet. You would have won. I would have won. You would have won. You would have won the whole thing. Don't second guess me, Fallen. You would have won the whole thing. Do not second guess me, Fallen. Ladies and gentlemen, you just saw... How smart I am. <laughs> no, well... How smart I... What if do you were, know? If you were smart, you would have took the bet. Oh, stop it. I am a smart person, which is why I didn't take the bet. I'm not uh, a betting lady, sh Fallen. Sh should we go to the, we go oh, the card no, room? Oh, no, because you're going to waste all our francs. Well, we still got 24 exactly, left. Exactly. No. We, can, we can win it all back. Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Are we ready to hit the road? Yep, let's go. Excellent. Yep, let's make a move. Perhaps we didn't need to pay the fox anyways, but it's good to have help. Um, do you see the Notre Dame? I do not see I the do. Notre Dame. Where? It's the third oh, the top. there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> It's been a long day, ladies and gentlemen. Damn allergies. <coughs> Damn trees fornicating. Oh my gosh, my car. <laughs> my car is normally blue in color. It's green. And that, it is now like greenish yellow. Yep. Just because of the pollen. Falcon and sparrows and step into the grand atrium of Notre Dame Cathedral. As they approach, they see the hunchback. I'm just kidding. 
Scaffold lines much of the crumbling outer wall. Unperturbed, a handful of devotees are suddenly kneeled in thought. Here for a little prayer, are we, Falcon? I had no idea you were the religious type. Don't be silly. I'm following up on Fontaine's lead. We must find our mystery friar. Do you think it's that hunched over fellow over there? I bet it's him. He looks suspicious. Could be. Let's show some tact. Excuse me, Monsieur Friar! Ugh. Do you know what tact is, Sparrowson? Oh my gosh. It's a wolf. Um, ooh, Remus. The other guy was Romulus! Yep. Oh, got some Romulus and Remus action going on here. Welcome, my brothers. Welcome. All are welcome under the roof of the house of God. Are you here to confess your sins, or perhaps you wish to join in our services? Actually, Friar, we're here because... Falcon! That Friar. Looks familiar. He looks eerily familiar. He does look familiar. Why don't you mention it? He does look a little like the guy who delivers our post. Ah! Uh, what? No! That's not who I meant. And how does he look anything like our postman? Am I going mad? Your friend appears to be upset. Don't mind him. He's just uh, in a huff because he thinks you look like the j judge we once met. Judge Romulus? I get that all the time. I'm his twin brother, you see. Oh, good. I'm not going mad. Fire, would you say that you had a good relationship with Romulus? We were close, but as you may have heard, he got in trouble with the law recently. I haven't seen him in weeks. I see. I didn't mean to pry. It's no trouble, but tell me, why are you here, my brothers? Oh, right. Well, we have a couple of questions. Would you take a look at this? Yes, would you take What's a look at this? What's with the scaffolding? Would you take a look at this? For we have something we want, to, we would like to show you. The book. Ha ha ha! Could you take a look at this? We heard that you could give uh, special passage readings. Ah, I see. You have your own copy of the book of Judges. I think you'll find chapter 15, verse 2 to be particularly enlightening. Let's see. Chapter 15, verse 2. This, this chapter oh. follows the journey of Samson, the heroic judge with divine strength. In this part of the scripture, Samson is confronted by the men who are angered by Samson's notion of justice. Please, could you read the passage? Okay. 3,000 men of Judah went to the top of the rock Etam. They said to Samson, Knowest thou not that the Philistines are rulers over us? What is this that thou hast done unto us? And Samson said unto them, As they did unto me, so have I done unto them. As they did unto me, so I have done unto them. A beautiful sentence, wouldn't you agree? It's poetic. poetic. It's poetic, a beautiful summation of justice. You understand the passage that's delightful to hear. Yes, Samson was a great judge. Not a judge of today who sits on a high chair and files endless paperwork, but an old judge, a holy judge. A shop it. Shop it. Shop it. What the, what's a shop I don't know. I think it's like a prophet, version of a prophet. I, I guess so. Shop it's were to be admired and feared. They made their own judgments and dispersed their own punishments. Ah, I'm starting to ramble, aren't I? Okay. Let's get back to the point. The key word for the day is Etam. That's the name of the cave where Samson hid, the rock of Etam. Etam, got it. I'll make a note. <coughs> it's like a backwards mate, but I'm confused. What do we do with this keyword? That is for you to learn on your own, my brothers. You appear to be intelligent. I'm sure that if you put your faith in the right people, you can uncover the truth. We'll see what we can do. Is there anything else I can I can help you with today? Perhaps you wish to make a confession? That's, That's all. all. What's with all the scaffolding? Is there some sort of construction work going on? That's right, a little repair, a little renovation. It's no secret that the cathedral has seen better days. The cult of reason did a lot of damage back in the days of the revolution. But now we're all but now we're well on our way to restoring the holy place to its former glory. The cult of reason? The religion of Christianity? Hey, Falcon, what's the difference between religion and a cult? Don't be rude, Sparrowson. Ah, don't worry, my brother. I understand how it is. To a young person, all ideologi ideologies look like gobbledygook in different packaging, don't they? Yeah, pretty much. Then maybe you'll come to learn the differences as you grow up. I promise some ideologies are worth following to the very end. But let's not talk anymore about cults and ideologies. 
Did you want anything else? That's all. Nah, we good, bro. We good. Peace. I think we're done here. Thank you for your time, Friar. Go in peace, my brothers. Excellent. See? That was useful. All right. So now should be the second. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you want to go talk to... Yeah, because we met him on the 30th, right? Yes. Okay. So where is he? S and M. R and M Associates. S and M. What did I say? You just said S and M. Uh, it said R and M. <laughs> you did not just say R and M. <laughs> Monsieur Volpez, you have managed to take up some good information, I trust. Hmm. There's good news and there is bad news. Let's hear the. Good I want to news. hear the bad news first. Oh. Let's hear the good news. I found a way you can meet with Croce, Croce, uh, with Sandwich Man. He looks around the Rue des Marmonts on Friday evenings. The Rue des Marmonts set? Oh, the monkey robe by Notre Dame. That seems simple enough. So what's the bad news? A croc monsieur ref uses to speak with... Uh, ref oh. I thought there was a space there, like ref uses that refuses. The croc monsieur refuses to speak with anyone who does not know a secret password. I think we know the password. I'm afraid I was unable to procure that particular password. I think we know it. I see. That is a problem. But didn't it say the word of the day, and it's now a new day? So is it still a Tom? It is still a Tom. It probably is, but... It's the key word. I'm just saying that if there's a word of the day, mm -hmm. that should change daily if you have some sort of secret organization. That's all I'm saying. How could they keep up? They go to the church if they need to go visit somebody, huh. right? Go to the church that morning, and then in the evening, you go to the monkey road. Hey, I'll, I'm not saying I know how to plan a revolution or to run a secret cult or anything like that, but that's that, what that's I would quite, do. That's quite obvious here. I mean, it just that's makes quite sense. Here. It just makes sense. I apologize. I could not be of more help. That's no problem at all, Monsieur. You've given us a fantastic lead. Who's we'll the moment on Friday? I'll be there. And I think we know what the password is. We, oui. we do. Come on, Falcon. Don't be a bird brain. I shan't delay you two any longer. I'm sure you have a lot of investigative work to do. That we do. Thanks for all your help, Monsieur Lopez. Done. It's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I have to go. So we got one more day where we can do stuff before we go visit the guy. Should we go do? back to the um, the hospital? Uh, no, we might need this. I feel. Hmm. Let's go to the bibliotheque. Maybe they'll tell us something about the July Revolution, but we don't necessarily need that. Yeah. We can get some chocolate, the Chocolate Emporium. We can go to the Louvre again, or the uh, the bridge. I think it'd probably be best if we went to either the library or the Palace of Justice, since we have the Book of Judges. I'll try the Palace of Justice, then. Mm. Yeah, let us dig on this, and uh, when you guys come back, or when we come back, I should say, We'll have made our decision. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And please don't forget to join us next time on The Misadventures of Falcon and Sparrows. And I swear, we're like the worst lawyers. We're <laughs> I, we're, I don't even think we're lawyers. We're fetch quest, quest fetchers. Quest yeah. fetchers. Right now we're couriers. Couriers. <laughs> See you all next time. Take care. Bye.